this is your reading for Friday the 17th of November. Thank you for joining me. I'm using the Animal Lords Tarot today. And um, I'm going to choose three cards to give you an insight into the day's energy and what you'll be working with. So let's have a look. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Queen of Chalices, the Queen of Cups. And then we have the Emperor in reverse. Looking absolutely ridiculous there. It's like a lion with a mullet. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? A human cat hybrid with a mullet and a crow. God. Okay. I love it. All right. So first card, the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is about, um, usually it's the have and have nots card. So because this elephant is knocking down this tree, he's kind of getting these apples to fall down and the monkeys are able to pick them up and they're able to eat because of the symbiotic relationship that they've got. So there's a situation of scratch your back, I'll scratch yours. No, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And um, it's about working with other people so that everyone can benefit. That's in reverse. So the message is that the opportunities aren't going to come via other people. If you want an opportunity to occur today, you've got to take the initiative and make it happen yourself. The next card is the Queen of Chalices. The Queen of Chalices is a, a peacock and she is beautiful and she's elegant and she's gorgeous and she's emotionally gorgeous. She's beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. And she's beautiful on the inside because she's been able to um, nurture other people, to be selfless, to be caring, to be creative and spiritual, to focus on all these things that create inner beauty. And because she's able to really nurture those elements and parts of herself, she's able to nurture other people and help other people do the same things for themselves. So the Queen of Chalices is like a spiritual healer. She's like a spiritual teacher. And it's because of her own self-belief and her own enlightened state of being that whoever she comes in touch with, she can just kind of raise their vibration by being around them and help them become more beautiful and, um, and uh, allow them to have self-belief and allow them to manifest their own desires. So it like let's say you have you're working very hard and your your bones are aching and you're working by yourself and you feel all alone. Then on this day just imagine the queen of chalices floating around you in her ethereal little peacock outfit there and just saying I'm here for you. I'm nurturing you. I'm taking care of you. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do and I'm raising your vibration and you're really manifesting a wonderful life so please don't be discouraged and that message is very gentle and very soft it's not you know it's not the message of of let's say um do, 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 who could it be like aries for instance aries would say ignore your problems just move ahead look to the future don't look behind just make it happen ignore the pain and power through that's not the message the message is you are loved you're cared for, you're perfect as you are, you're a special creation of the universe, and because you're so wonderful and special, if you take action, you'll be able to create something wonderful that will help other people, you'll be able to create your own masterpiece, you'll be able to create the thing that you want in life, you'll benefit others and you'll benefit yourself. But the only way to do it is to love yourself first, and to realize your own divinity, and your own beauty, and how amazing you are. It's easy to do that in other people. It's easy to see how unique that light is in another person when you look at them. And you can say there will never be anyone else like this ever. This person is so unique and so special. It they, There will never be another version of this person ever. Even if it's good or bad. It's just one of those things. There's, you know, it's a part of God. Each one of us. And... Whether you like it or you don't, it's a unique, special thing. And when we see that for ourselves, that we are these unique, special creations, then it's just that recognition and tapping into that vibration 
that lets it spill out into your actual life. And then other people recognize it, you recognize it for yourself, and it gives you the power to take right action. Finally, the emperor, der Herrscher, is about security and structure and making security happen not through wise rule, but through power. So he's a usurper. He's a lion. He took the old king, you know, got him off the throne because he's a lion and he's powerful. And now he's, he's the emperor. He's in charge. But he's not just a... First of all, he, he's able to get to the position that he's in through having power. But then it's not just enough having power and being a lion. It's also important once you're in that position to be intelligent, to be wise, and to connect with other people and to see yourself in the context of the greater, the, the world at large. You know, not just his kingdom, but there are several other kingdoms as well who he's going to have to get along with if he doesn't want to be destroyed and go to war. So this is really someone who's a leader, someone who's um, a powerful figure to be reckoned with, someone who's, who's a good ruler, someone who's in charge, and someone who you can rely on, but someone who also has to be respected and even feared. That's in reverse. So there's no need to power through. That's, that's kind of the example of Ares I mentioned with this peacock. That's what the emperor is. Don't, ignore the pain, fight your way to the throne, and whatever the cost, and once you're on the throne, rule and never give it up and stay there and you be the figure of authority. And that's not the way to operate today. Don't feel that you have to force anything to make it happen and deliberately kind of bulldoze your way into situations that you want to occur, like the elephant as well. And the elephant is the only animal really that can take down a tree. I remember when I was a kid, we went to, um, I think it was about eight or nine or something. My dad took us to Chobe, the Ch I th or um, it's this place in the Okavango Delta in Botswana. And we went, we were walking around and there were the, I think we were walking around or we were on a boat or something, I can't really remember, but the elephants were really close up next to us and we could watch them take down these trees and they were pushing against the trees and they fell over and it was, I was just amazed. It was such a, it was so amazing. So that's pure force to just, you know, I'm gonna use my weight, my body to just take this thing down. And that's also in reverse. So it, it's about having a light touch. And it's, a, look at her, she's on this branch and the branch isn't breaking. She's doing no damage, nothing. Both of these guys do damage. She does not do any damage. She's nurturing, she's caring and she applies herself emotionally, and she's beautiful inside and out, and that's why things work. So for you to transform things, let them transform organically and think with love. How can I, anything you do today, just ask yourself, is this a loving thing to do? And if the answer is yes, then you're on the right track. And, is it, and if the answer is, is this gonna hurt someone else? And if it's a yes, then stop doing that immediately, because then you're in that realm. And you don't want to be in that realm, you want to be in this realm. So it's not, we've got cancer here, so it's not about fixing anyone else or being codependent or people pleasing or saying, okay, I'm going to put my whole day aside just to take care of you. That is not what it's about. It's about developing your own artistry within and your own um, beauty and magic and manifesting that to the extent that it spills out of you and spills into the real world and it transforms something. So it's your inner vision that's going to transform your real world. You'll be given some sort of insight that comes from within and then you can take, the steps will be taken for you as long as you align yourself with that energy and think with love today and you'll notice that at the end of the day, you've achieved something wonderful and created something wonderful without really trying. It just kind of happened. So number-wise, we've got six, and one is seven, and four is 11, and 11 is the master number of service. So that's what she's about. Like I said, not only does she care for herself, but she, because she cares for herself, she's able to care for other people and make a positive contribution to the world. So that's all you need to do today. Respect yourself, and you'll help others.
either by example, they look at you and they say, oh my God, she loves herself so much. I wish I could be like that. I'm gonna to try to have that contentment and that peace. Or you're actually helping in a genuine way and people are genuinely grateful. And they say, oh my God, she's added so much value to my life. I really appreciate that. And that's gonna make you feel good and that's gonna make you feel like, wow, I've achieved something here. So be the queen of chalices today. Have a wonderful day. If you would like a private reading with me, then please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. Please remember to subscribe to the channel. In my readings, I use astrology, tarot, and numerology. Uh, the astrology gives me a blueprint of your soul. It shows me why you've come back into this lifetime and what your mission is this time around, what your vocational gifts are, what your challenges are that you need to face, where the ego tries to sabotage you, where your real strengths lie, uh, what's coming up for you in future. And to look at the future stuff, I look at the tarot and the predictive astrology. And the predictive astrology is a progress chart and your transits. And I can also look at the astro cartography in terms of what parts of the planet and what areas work best for you. So in terms of travel and moving and things like that. So if you're interested, then please get in touch for a reading. Please remember to subscribe and I'll speak to you tomorrow.